Welcome to the podcast on jasonsolomons.com. I'm joined by Matt Charman, the screenwriter of Steven Spielberg's latest movie, Bridge of Spies. Matt, congratulations on getting a film to Steven Spielberg. Thank you so much. It still feels a little bit weird, to be honest. How does it feel seeing it, seeing your words up on the big screen? And in such a you know, in classic Spielberg, you know, it's beautifully honed, wonderfully crafted, looks amazing. And Tom Hanks talking your words. I know. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was a weird thing because they showed me the movie a few months ago. And a man flew from L.A. with the movie. And he met me in a screening room in Soho on my own. And I I said, are you going to come in and watch it with me? He said, no, Stephen said you're watching this on your own. So I sat down on my own in a screening room in Soho and watched a Steven Spielberg film, but my Steven Spielberg film. So it was a, a... it was nuts. I was pinching myself the whole time. A little bit of spycraft involved in that. It kind of <laughs> some, some of the bridge of spies exchanging movies. Yeah, and weird, because at the end of the movie, you know, I stood up, the projectionist turned the thing off, and I walked out into the sun and just kind of wandered away. And it was a, it was an odd kind of spy moment, yeah. <laughs> what the, I mean, obviously amazing to get the film to Spielberg. I gather you pitched it in L.A. and it sort of gets there. So, I mean, it's, it's extraordinary, and yet kind of that sort of can happen in it but are you aware of the sort of fairy tale aspect of this for you oh definitely it doesn't there's not a morning that i don't wake up and just for a moment forget this has happened and then think wow you know this 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 really did happen i think what i always always hang on to and i I do quite a lot of stuff with young writers and, and emerging writers and stuff and i i do honestly feel that if you hone a story and you believe in it and you love it enough and you just keep talking about that story, it does find a home. You've just got to love it enough to polish it, really polish it down, you know, but then people gravitate towards a good story. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you told me that it took you five weeks to actually write the screenplay. I mean, there's a lot of words in this screenplay and, and beautifully, you know, and good phrases too. It's not just like, oh, he looks over here and he puts his hat down. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it was over Christmas as well, so I really killed myself to do it. But I knew I had a moment. I, Steven Spielberg had heard the pitch, and he said, how fast can you write it? And I knew from the people around him, said, they said to me, look, he's got five other movies. So, you know, you, you're coming late to the party, basically. And I knew I, ha- I didn't want to let – I didn't want me to be the reason this didn't happen. I wanted to do everything I could. For the rest of it's out of your hands. But I just thought if I could kill myself to do this – I thought he won't read the first draft anyway, and he did. He read the first draft and flew me out. That was the crazy thing about this. And when I got there, little golf buggy drove me me through Universal Studios, and I arrived at DreamWorks and went up to his office. Door opens, and he's sitting there with the script I've written on his lap, annotated, post-it notes, corners turned down. And he said, Matt, I'm Steven Spielberg. Sit down, let's dig in. He came up at the last minute. They have offices in London. His clients... Not my idea. Scotland, a fishing expedition. What kind of fishing trip, Jim? Salmon fishing. Just tell me that you're not going to be in any danger, that this is just a routine business trip, and I won't worry. I need my passport. Just give me something to hold on to. I don't even care if it's the truth. I'm doing this for us. And when they give you when they give you notes, when Tom Hanks gives you notes, when I know you also the Cohen brothers were sort of brought in or or joined in mm. for a sort of I don't know polish of some sort. Mm. Uh, when they when people like that give you notes, are you tempted to sort of just listen and say yes sir, no sir, or do you kind of think well actually Stephen, you know I think you're fine. It's an incredible film school this movie, right? I mean obviously Steven Spielberg as a storyteller is pretty much unparalleled in the business Mm. he's remarkable and every single note he gave me was about deepening it making it more complex making donovan grayer more um more the kind of person that you would hope to meet uh in the middle of one of these big stories not just a sort of a arrow straight hero but someone who had their own complexities and that was the same with tom hanks's notes and that was the same with the Coen brothers, the way they approach the movie as well. What a film school, right? I mean, it was crazy. <laughs> I know you've also done the Sweet Francaise for Saul Dib uh, as well. Was that after this, before this? No, this that came before this, and that was a that was a kind of a wonderful. I mean, I've done, I've written for for obviously I started as a playwright and I've written for television, but that was my first movie, and that was a, the script I came on board and worked with Saul on. But this Bridge of Spies was the first time I've stared at a blank page of a of a movie script and and had to write okay interior bar and off you go you know it's kind of 
Well, you do it a lot. There's Hilton hotels. There's yeah. the Berlin Wall. I mean, it just yeah. kind of it keeps expanding. You think it's going to finish in a courtroom drama, kind of a la Amistad, a la Lincoln, but actually it then goes and becomes a spy crafted thriller, kind of Len Date and John Le Carre. I style. want. I wanted it to keep opening up because I, I I was always fascinated in through my research that this starts in Brooklyn in a courthouse. It goes all the way to the Supreme Court, and then finally it goes through the Berlin Wall into East Germany and East Berlin. And, and I, I wanted the audience to take this man's hand and follow him to places they didn't think a lawyer would go. That's what I was excited about. Yeah, well, in the completely, you were with him all the way through the gangs in the in East Berlin and then the freezing weather and no coat as well. <laughs> uh, but it reminded me of so much Spielberg, you know, from from Schindler's List to I have mentioned Amistad and and Lincoln, but also Munich as well. It's got that Spielberg imprimatur, that kind of. You know, there's something about the ease of the fluidity of the opening sequence and some of the set pieces that just can't be anyone else. I agree with you. I mean, I I was lucky enough to spend time on set and you sit next to him and you watch him work. And the way he puts a sequence together, you realise he's already cut it in his head. I mean, he's not making this stuff up. He knows exactly how he wants it to look, the flow of a certain scene. You know, the Spielberg Warner is now a very popular thing. And he builds a scene knowing that actually he's going to do all of his close-ups, all of, all of the camera work in one shot. And so, of course, they rehearse, they rehearse, they rehearse. But then you get this beautiful sort of fluid feel to the movie. It's amazing. That's the one, the one, the one take, Steve. The one take, the one take, yeah. Well, I mean, with Jaws, it was much harder. He didn't do one take of that. So even he has to learn somewhere. <laughs> Matt, what a film score. What a, 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 I wish you the best of luck with the screenplay. I really enjoyed the movie. It, it is terrific. I was gripped and also cold. And, uh, and Mark Rylance is fantastic. He is fantastic. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. In the measured judgment of this court, the following sentence, based upon the jury's verdict of guilty as to each count of the indictment, is believed to meet the test which has been stated. Pursuant to the verdict of guilty as to all counts, the defendant is committed to the custody of the Attorney General of the United States for imprisonment in a federal institution to be selected by him for a period of 30 years. Marshals, you may take the defendant into custody. No, no electrocution? No, no, no. Why are we hanging him? In the name of God, why are we hanging him? Sit down. He's a spy. He's killing us with his lies. In the name of God, why are we hanging him? That's right. He's a spy.